Happy to be here again. And I'm Stefan from IBB Betanzgesellschaft. We are an early stage venture capital investor focused on Berlin based companies. So, my topic is, or my focus is, Berlin and fast growing companies. So, what? 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 It's a big one, yes? Ah, okay, this one. So, what is uh, the secret behind fast growing companies? I compare it to plants, bamboo or a tree. So what do you need to build fast-growing companies? A location is first. A good location where you have employees available, living costs are affordable, office space is free, and a big market in front of your door. So that's one prerequisite. The second, I think, is to have supporters, so the gardeners. You need a huge network, financing capabilities, creativity of people, a vision of the <coughs> funding, um, team and an successful or a successful business model. That would be the prerequisites to grow fast. And there, of course, I think Berlin is one of the most attractive places. So to look at the overall economy of Berlin, it grew uh, last year 2.7 percent overall. And of course, I think the um, agility and um, activity of the new companies in the startup environment is even higher. So this is well, the view from outside or from research institutes, uh, big players, so that Berlin is um, indicated as a leading startup hotspot, the um, most interesting um, uh, city for venture capital investments, and not uh, uninteresting, every 20 hours in Berlin is formed a new tech startup. So that's really incredible. Every 20 hours, more than one a day. So this leads that Berlin is uh, one of the startup cities. And I want to dig a little bit deeper into this. Um, and there's a circle of sustainable growth. So the freedom to grow is very high in Berlin. So we have special historical roots. So the wall fall down, we have uh, no industry player connected directly to Berlin like Munich and Siemens or Volkswagen and uh, um, Wolfsburg. So there's open space and a lot of people available, many, um, um, yeah, many chances here. This leads us to cultural diversity. So every 20 years, the half of the population of Berlin changes. So there's a lot of movement here in Berlin and leads that one third of the Berliners have migratory backgrounds. So you can find every nation here in Berlin, every language is spoken here, so very diverse. This attracts ambitious talents. So we have a lot of universities here, more than 170,000 students are enrolled here. And of course, Berlin is growing. So since uh, or up to 2020, it is expected that more than 200,000 people move to Berlin. That's the size of a smaller city like Braunschweig, for example. And creativity and know-how, you also need to form sustainable growth. So we have um, a lot of patents were filed here by the Berlin-based industry and the presence of leading research institutes attracts as well. So therefore, Berlin, that's not a, not a secret, and it attracts capital. So um, in the last years, Berlin was one of the best places to be funded. In Germany, no doubt about this, but even in Europe, we have Berlin under the top five um, cities, um, yeah, which were funded by venture capital investments. What, what's remarkable is that the number of investments is over 200 investments per year were made here in Berlin. So a really big chance. And this forges new industry leaders. Some of them are uh, from our portfolio, the um, Tamondo, for example, Bubble and Outfittery. And here they were sold last year uh, to the automotive industry. There was a small nucleus we sold from our portfolio named Gate5 to Nokia in 2006, and they developed it much further. So 
So some words about IBB Battalions Gesellschaft. So I mentioned already that we are an early stage investor team of 16 professionals and has developed in the last 20 years to one of the most active venture capital investors. We have actually 250 million euros under management. Out of these, 100 million are in our active investing funds. We have a portfolio of 70 companies and due to the situation that we invest in any case with other investors in co-investments or um, in consortiums, we have a network to the most uh, European active investors, so 300 are the number. This is a snapshot to our smart green portfolio. Six out of 70 companies are in the smart green um, area active. For those of you who um, listened to my talk last year, will miss GUN. They focused on geothermal energy, and we have sold them beginning of this year to Gazak. So that's the reason why we only have six left in this area. But we are open to expand this and do more investments in this space. So what, what we can provide, of course, you can profit from our experience, 20 years in the venture capital business. We offer hands-on support and have a huge network to international and national players and, of course, to other investors. So, and of course, the exit competency in 20 years, we have gained a lot there and can offer this to our portfolio companies. So now I will hand over to Konstantin <coughs> to give you a much broader view of the Berlin um, programs, what okay. IBB can thank offer you, for you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, hi. My name is Konstantin Hansen, and I'm a key account manager for companies in the industries of energy technology and clean tech at the Investitionsbank Berlin. Um, yeah, um, as Berlin's business development bank, the Investitionsbank Berlin offers a wide range of uh, products uh, to support your startup in Berlin, beginning with um, business consulting. Uh, we offer grants uh, or public grants and loans, uh, also like regular bank loans. And uh, then we have a mezzanine capital. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, last but not least, we have VC equity capital provided by our VC subsidiary, uh, EBB Beteiligungsgesellschaft. Yeah, in the next minute, I want to give you a short school lesson uh, for startups especially. Um, so the question is how to write a business plan to convince a bank or to apply for public subsidies so that's very important, maybe uh, it's a little bit different how you write it for a VC, but now we are talking about banks and public subsidies. <clears throat> First point, uh, keep it simple. Uh, if you write a description for your product or for your innovation, uh, write it like you write it for your grandma, and uh, always consider that bank bankers aren't engineers. Um, point out the benefits in the eyes of the customers, not in your own eyes. That's very important. Um, the market description should contain the description of the business sector, the market volume, the market segmentation, uh, also the competitors, and of course, the target group uh, you want to address. Um, you have to explain your business model, um, especially uh, you have to explain how you want to make money and how much you want to keep from this money. Um, yeah, the competition and, and the, the USP, it's very important that you highlight uh, the USP of your product or your innovation uh, and advantages of your product uh, versus uh, the competitor's products. Um, for the marketing or sales strategy, it's important that you have uh, to describe how you want to enter the market. You have to describe your, your pricing strategy, uh, your distribution channels, and also if you have partnerships, that's very important to, to know it for a bank or for an investor. Um, important information is also the ex executive team because uh, investors and bankers always want to know uh, about the persons, about the key persons in the company, and even uh, also about the key knowledge carriers of the company. <clears throat> um, yeah, don't forget to mention your funding requirements, um, how much money you need for which purposes, 
and uh, the financial forecast should contain a period of three to five years. And uh, there's very important uh, that you highlight the break-even point, so don't forget it. Uh, and last but not least, um, the exit strategy um, is also important for bankers and investors because uh, they want to get their money back. And so that's the question how they get their money back. Yeah, thank you very much for your attention. I have, maybe I have one more message. If you plan to uh, set up a business in Berlin, talk to us, talk to IBB first, because we can help you uh, in every question of financing or consulting. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.